Hey, thanks for joining me on this one. I did something I've never done before. I just took a bunch of video as I ran a bunch of errands the other day. So who cares about this? Um, probably nobody, but we're gonna do it anyway. Right here, I was on my way to drop some packages off to the post office for some people who bought copies of my comic. Uh, for some reason, this chucklehead you're looking at right here has uh, sold a couple of books due to his YouTube channel. Anyway, after that, I went and had to wash the car because where I parked my vehicle, bird shit on it all over the place and uh, it was just covered in bird shit so i had to get this thing cleaned up couldn't take it anymore normally i go through the uh like the automatic one where you just stay in your car but it was all filled up so it was washing by hand today so it's actually cheaper and i think you can get it better than that then from there i went to uh get an oil change on the car i got my car registered just the weekend before but uh had to get an oil change so i had them change the oil change the filters top off all the fluids there's a the car right there after that moved on to one of my favorite places to go to hobby lobby why why do i like to go to hobby lobby right there art supplies hell yeah they have all kinds of good stuff it's the best place i can get to locally so a uh, bunch of knickknacks and all kinds of stuff in this place but uh, i'm going back towards the uh, back of the store where the actual art supplies themselves are right here it's the um, pencils and erasers area and they finally got a new type uh, a type of eraser i've been looking for forever i don't know if i uh, show myself picking it up but there's this particular kind of eraser that i love and i picked up right here bottles of ink this is where i get the ink that i love to use i actually pick up the wrong one here first this one was the incorrect one it's the same brand dr phil martin's uh but it just says bombay ink i think it says i'm like oh no that, that that's not the one i want dr phil martin's uh matte black and so i find that one right there that's the one i want I just opened up a new bottle of it, but I always like to have a fresh one ready to go. I'm just kind of picky that way. And then moving on to all the other supplies they've got. The uh, Micron pens. I get these packs of three, a couple of thick tips and then a thinner one. Right there, Helix Compass. Um, we were just talking about that on the live stream recently, and there was one staring at me. Uh, continue down the aisles. Um, I'm a cheap ass, so I buy cheap brushes. I just buy a pack of, I think it was a pack of 10 or 12 or something like that, whatever these are. And about seven or eight of those brushes are good for inking. And I just use them until they die. For seven bucks, it's not that bad. And um, I, instead of buying a really expensive, nice brush, I just brought, buy this cheap shit because that's how I roll. Moving on, down another aisle, uh, what, a bunch of colored paper and stencils and shit. I don't care about that. I'm all about the paper. Hell yeah. Um, moving down towards the end, looking for the comic book size paper. This uh, it's Master's Touch is the brand. You got vellum surface, but I get the smooth Bristol because I that's what I ink on. I want that smooth surface when I'm inking. And when this uh, this Hobby Lobby store got a 40% off sale, hell yeah, I pick up another pad. Even though I've got two pads of paper at home already, I got three now. Looking at the toys and stuff. Um, I just kind of look at them. They're kind of interesting. It's hard when I bring my kids in here because my youngest boy's like, Daddy, I want this. Can I have it? I'm like, no, it's $50 and you don't appreciate it. Sorry, son. You can't have that. Moving on, they got wall-framed comic book art. You'd think I'd be into this stuff, and I kind of am. I appreciate some of it as pieces of artwork, especially when it's 50% off, but I don't have that much wall space in my place, and I don't want a bunch of comic art staring at me unless it's a very specific one-off. I do like that. I think that old faded flag, love that. I think it looks great. I've thought about getting it a couple of times, but again, wall space is hard. Second Amendment, uh, necessary for the security of a free state. Absolutely important. I believe in that, and I will never change. But thought that stuff is pretty neat. But here we are at the register, the supplies I got. So paper, micron pens, cheap brushes, pack of erasers that I've been uh, missing because they uh, had them, didn't have them for a long time, ink. Uh, other packs of pens, some pencils, all came to about 50 bucks, which, you know, it's not bad, all things considering. Walking back out to my car, car's all dried off and looking kind of nice, all cleaned up. You couldn't tell that I got rear-ended about three days prior. Uh, somebody plowed into the back of me and just scuffed up my bumper. I've got a insurance claim on that. Got to go Monday to get it looked at. But uh, jumping in the car and um, I was basically done. So 
time to go home, sitting at a stoplight. Just got to sit and wait for everyone to get done. And then just cruising down the road. Now, I can't say that this is a smart thing to do, to be holding your up, recording your trip as you're driving. Uh, I'm not looking at the phone. I'm staring at the road, so I wasn't really 100% certain what I was actually capturing. Um, this is stupid to do. Like, you should pay attention to driving. Uh, let's look at the dumbass who uh, is the one that's uh, doing this dangerous shit. Oh, yep, right there. He's the dumbass. And then, boom, plow right into the back of a car. That's how that shit happens. And then you almost drop your phone. And then I'm in my uh, living community here. I almost ran over a kid. Just kidding. And then just uh, cruising down. This is where I live. And uh, just got to cruise down here just a little bit to the left. And we'll pull up to my house. This is the uh, central kind of clubhouse office area. It's a pretty nice area. Um, not really any, any crime or anything like that. It's always nice and pretty well kept. And uh, just right here to the left, we're going to pull right into my place. And boom, here we are. This is my house. I own it. It's mine. And uh, I parked my car, but I'm pulling it forward as far as I can go so those fucking birds won't shit all over it because I just washed it because that's what they do. They know how that the universe works. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.